Okay, I'm back. I have more to rant about, so... <laughs> I just... I didn't wanna, um... I didn't wanna just end it there. I think all, all in all it was it was a good game, and... I, maybe if it's a video and a half of me talking about it, I don't know. You don't have to watch it, right? <laughs> so... <laughs> I just... I, yeah, I think I think the Fenris romance was well done, and upon the realization that romances kind of evolve and change based off of whether you have a friendship or a rivalry with a character, the fact that you can have romances with a rivalry, it's kind of that love-hate thing. I think that's cool, and it will add to the replay value. I can see myself replaying it over and over, just based off of things like the different endings, you know, siding with the mages, siding with the Templars. Um... And things like pursuing different romances and building different types of characters and all of that stuff. I can, like, I've already got a game in the, in the background where I'm playing a rogue. I'm playing a male rogue assassin. Um, and yeah, he's, he's really cool. And I'm having a lot of fun with him. I've got a game I just started. I used a, uh, what was it? Um, I've got a custom thing where um, you can make the main character and their family elves. So I have an elf who's a uh, two-handed sword wielder um, that I built as a uh, reaver. So that'd be really cool. And yeah, there's just so many different replays that I want to do. So many different characters I want to build. I do want to build a blood mage who's kind of a total jerk and just hates everybody and all these things. And I think that's what's so great about games like these is that you really can go back with being able to, at least on the PC version, I do feel sorry for people who have console versions of this game because you can't customize everything. You can't go back and... I'm just curious to check out my achievements. You can't go back and and um do those kinds of things, you know. You can't add changes to the game, give, you know, give them different looks. What are these? I want to know what these are. <laughs> you can't do that stuff with the console version and I do definitely look forward to expansions. I look forward to more um uh downloadable content. I look forward to oh oh I didn't do that. I guess I'll have to do that, won't I? Seize the throne. What throne? Oh. I don't know. Find all four chapters of the history of the Chantry by Brother Jenna TV. I'm actually working on this one in one of my other games. And I'm doing it on hard mode, and it's very difficult. I've had to reload the game a lot, but. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I don't know. Just. I. I do like this game, and I do. I definitely recommend it. If. I were to rate it? See, I'm no good at ratings. I would just say, I would just say get this game. I would say it's worth playing at least once. I'd say it's worth playing multiple times. And I intend to continue to enjoy it. And I, th there's a lot of good things about it. I mean, there's a lot of not good things about it. I mean, gosh, why did you have to be so lazy and reuse all the maps? I think that's probably my biggest peeve right there. But... I enjoyed it. The game made me feel things. I grew attached to my my companions and my friends and I loved and I lost and I hated and I got sad and cried and exacted vengeance and just it you know, I'm not going through the motions of playing a game. I'm I'm feeling it and I'm living it and I think if a game can make me do that, then it's definitely a good game, so Anyway, it is bittersweet that it's over, but I mean, look, I guess look forward to more LPs in the future because there's uh, there's definitely games that I'm looking forward to doing and the blind LP thing, I I definitely want to do more blind games and we'll be doing more blind games. So, there's definitely Mass Effect and Mass Effect 2 to look forward to. So, anyways, uh thanks for 
coming on the ride with me. Till next time, guys.